Hello, welcome to my first ever video of me painting a broadside battle suit from the Tower Empire. First ever video up on YouTube, so hope you enjoy. And if you like this, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. My brain did a thing. I won't be painting this suit, it's traditional colours, I'll be painting it green and purple, two of my favourite colours, um, the green is Death Guard Green and the purple is Negroth Knight, so yeah. I am currently painting the base colours on this battle suit, but the little bits on the base where you see from a hive tyrant. Just to give the base a bit of pizzazz, but mainly because the story of this. Battle suit. This battle suit is a lone battle suit what fled out onto the field in anger and disappointment with the rest of his army as most of his comrades died. This hive tyrant's the one who killed most of them, so this is the first that goes after. Anyway, see ya. This, I'm just adding the Death Guard Green, one of my favourite colours out of Citadel. Um, one of the first armies I fully painted was Death Guard, so. While painting this mini, uh, I was listening to Jacksepticeye, as you may be able to see, playing one of the new games out, um, Stay Silent. Honestly, quite a scary game, but Jack, everything's fun with Jack. The brown point in the background is just filled with brushes while I grab one. Yeah, um, some are old, some are quite new, but a lot of brushes for just one mini. Earlier this year, um, I entered a painting contest um, for Warhammer, and it was an Age of Sigma model. And surprisingly, I won. Um, it was an under 16s contest, but to be honest, it's one of my proudest models. This isn't for any competition, this is just for fun, but I think you should always do what you love and paint models on the mine, so yeah.
I think one of the best brushes for painting models are some flat brushes of various sizes. Just because it's a bit easier to put down a flat coat, as well as being able to do straight lines when painting a big area. You can do that with pointed brushes, but flat brushes just give you ease. Also, when you edge highlighting using the side of flat brush is really helpful, just because it's flat edge on a flat edge and it just glides along more easily. Quick dub. I think it's really important when painting a model to remember not to be restricted by the box, otherwise I wouldn't be painting like this. Just because, yeah, you might pick up the box and think, that's really cool, let's paint that. Sometimes you might think, that's a really cool model, let's paint it my own way. Also, looking at the towel box, of this model. You practically have Missilemania on one of the pictures because Missile Arms, Missile Backpack, Rocket on the back? Like, it's cool, but you can't have too many rockets. I was gonna say you can have too many rockets, but really, you can't. But yeah. Don't don't feel restricted by what the box says. Do your own thing sometimes, like what I'm doing. I absolutely love what he does, and 
must do a good job of what he does because I would be here painting this model if it weren't for Midwinter. I love what he does and I love all his tutorials because it's kind of how I've got this good at painting models over the years. Well, it's only been like three, but yeah. He's absolutely awesome. Go check him out at some point. For all the mechanical and bare metal parts, I've used Screaming Bell for just brushing over it very lightly. Um, I just think Screaming Bell goes so well with the paint job of the green and the purple, just because it has a bit of contrast and stays in a darker palette. So. I would have used silver, but I don't think it would have looked right. As you can see in the background on my TV, I've started to watch Smosh, and to be honest, Smosh is an incredible YouTube channel, Smosh Games, Smosh, Smosh Pip, some favourite channels to watch while painting just because they're funny and interesting. Um, Smosh Games, the D&D campaign, what they did, I've took a lot of ideas out of that and absolutely love it. Um, At this point you can see me starting to paint some of the little details in red because I think there still needed to be red in this. A bit of a contrast. I'm painting the symbol on the shoulder, the head and a little canister on the back of the gun. Red. Um oh and the missiles. Um I think it's very vibrant, sticks out and draws your eyes away from the big massive blocks of the colours.
To be honest, this model is one of my favorite models I've ever painted because I absolutely love painting robots. I painted a lot of Gundam models because mech, as well as a another another model on my Instagram. What is in the same colors as this? I really like them, so yeah. I'm now starting to do um, a highlighting with a light shade of purple called Jean Steeler Purple. Quite a nice purple to be honest and stands out quite a lot. I like it because it is a bright standy out colour and you can see the edges more clearly. Um, You can see while doing the edge highlighting, I'm using the flat brush to glide over the edges a bit breezily. Um, it puts the colour on quite well as well. Doing this as well, um, you can use the flat end of it at the tip to use some battle damage like stones skimming over it or bullets. While doing the edge highlighting, this is where you want to be the most patient while doing this. It's good to be patient while painting the flat colours, but edge highlighting takes a lot more time. Not a particularly smart guy, but I know quite a bit about model painting. And doing the edge highlighting shows like where the edges are and the wear and tear. Um, I found if you don't do edge highlighting, it can look a bit flat and well, not as detailed.
now going to start doing the yeah, highlighting on the green. The green contrast of the lighter green and the dark green looks really good close up. A little bit hard to see it further away, but still looks really nice. I couldn't keep this pot of paint open, so I ended up using a small paintbrush tube where you put on the end of the paintbrushes to keep it open because it kept annoying me. Quick hack if you keep having this happen to you. At this point I'm beginning to paint the base and the Tyranid on the base, so um, I quickly looked at the box where it originally came in to check out the colours. Um, I ended up painting this Corex white and using a lot of effects paints on it.
I ended up using Flesh Shade as well as Blood for the Blood God um, on the Tyranid below because it looked too bright to just be white. I also used some pink for the brainy bits. I used Wild Rider Red, or it's more of an orange color, on the blades on the Tyranid, for the Tyranids. Um, I also used a lighter orange called Jokiro Orange, um, just to add a little bit of highlight on the ridge of the blades.
this point I started using the blood effect to start flicking it on the model just to give it some blood splattery effects. There's not much on there but still, little details are the best. I'm now beginning to use the shades of Null Oil and Flesh Shade. It's just so you can get more of the effect of Oily Robot and Flesh on the Ground. Now coming to the end of painting this, it's done. Just waiting for the shades to dry and finish. These are the final results. I hope you enjoyed this video and please consider liking, subscribing and checking out my Instagram. I printed a thing in the description.